We have what it takes to win, but we've done very good with people that don't have the talent you have, but have the heart to go out and play. I think what's different about Coach Frank is he works with these students as if they're his own children. And he teaches them morals, values, and he teaches them how to not only have those traits on the field, but also in their personal life and uh, their life here at school. I was a freshman and my brother Jeff was a senior. He, I think he put a fake person in a tree one time and he's like, hey, there's somebody up there. You never know who's watching. And then that's, that's something that I tell people to this day. It was, it was so cool. And he's right though. <clears throat> you never know. And where, wherever you're playing, there could be a guy hiding in the car. It could be a guy uh, in the stands, you know, dressed up like a parent. It could be a scout, man. And, and that's the biggest thing. You play hard, you run out of ball, beat out of ball. Next thing you know, they jot that in their notes. This guy's a warrior. He's hustling. The first way he influenced me was definitely in terms of time, about being on time. That if you're not early, you're late. When you're out on the mound, don't let anything get to you. Show composure and just be dedicated and do what you have to do and get the job done. I remember my freshman year in a preseason game, I was playing first base and the ground ball came to me and I fielded it and I had no idea what to do with it. And I was shaking in my boots because I knew how Coach Frank was and he, uh, he let me have it after that in front of everyone and never made that mistake again. He was polite about it after the game. He came up to me and he said, I'm sorry I yelled at you, but it made you a better person and I know it did and I know you won't make that mistake again. And I shook his hand and I thanked him. You always, always kiss your mother. Never be embarrassed to kiss your mother. We were at a baseball camp. He was six years old. I went to say goodbye, and he kind of shrugged away, Ryan did. Coach Frank said, never, ever shrug away from your mother kissing your mother. And I think those little things mean a lot. He teaches family. Family comes first, and then baseball. It's just exciting. New York, New York is playing and you know we're doing the kicks as we're walking up and what I love about this ceremony is and all of the games is you see kids as young as infants to great grandparents there and that post game ceremony is part of what brings everybody there. You see the different generations on the field and that's to me that's what we want for our children. We want them to see how important their family is, the friendships are and be excited about having that going on around them. Oh boy, great, great job. As a coach myself, I couldn't imagine being a coach that has 800 plus wins, and I can't imagine doing the same thing for 40 years. Um, and the memory that he has is astounding. He can remember anything from any event. He'll see somebody, and it might not even have been a player on his team, but he can remember what that person did in the game against them in 1980. Um, so that's pretty amazing. So he really loves the game, loves what he does, and I admire that. And I aspire to be like him, even though I know I will never be half of the coach that he is. I want to say thank you to all you guys. All right, we're 22 and 4. I can't be more proud of it than the way you guys have played. We've watched him pat my kids on the back. I've seen him, you know, go out of his way to say hello to my kids. He is a very, uh, he's a very humble, very good person. Um, he's got a big heart. And I honestly believe that Coach Frank would do anything for my kids. Really would. Where I'm going to college, I'll be home early May, so I'll be able to catch the second half of the season next year. I'll definitely be at all the games. Definitely plan to keep in touch with Coach Frank. You know, when someone has such a big impact on your life, you're not just going to forget about them forever. I'm definitely going to see him and talk to him and keep our relationship. Um, and that's something I look forward to because I can give back to the kids that are, are playing because I was in their shoes. You know, I, have that, I know what it's like. So although I can't give back on the field, I can give back off, off the field. And that's, that's something that's good too. He has a huge following with alumni here who uh, do reach out all the time and send him letters to school. And uh, they always know where to find him though, out on that field. We can always find him there. But it's, it's 
really beautiful tribute that it just doesn't end when they leave school.